Many attempts have been made to transform our everyday interactions through the smooth incorporation of technology, and the introduction of Google Glass is one. Regrettably, it did not fulfill its initial potential and struggled to captivate the interest of consumers. This leaves us pondering why it fell short of customer expectations and what factors contributed to its downfall. So join us today as we delve into the fascinating domain of augmented reality glasses, where technology converges with controversy. Let's embark on this captivating journey. With that said, let's get started. Now, when it comes to smart glasses, the roots of this fascinating technology can be traced back to the 1960s. That's when Ivan Sutherland, an amazing American computer scientist, first came up with a device called the Sword of Damocles. Picture it as a sort of virtual reality headset that reacted to the user's gaze, thanks to a clever mechanical tracking system. It was a bold step into the future. Now, fast forward to the 21st century, when Google's research and development division, Google X, decided to take things to a whole new level. They had a grand vision to revolutionize our everyday lives, and that's how Google Glass came into the picture. Leading the charge was none other than Sergey Brin, the co-founder of Google. In 2011, they unveiled the prototype of Google Glass. And let me tell you, it wasn't the sleek and lightweight version we think of today. It weighed about eight pounds. Can you imagine? But they didn't stop there. In 2012, Brin wowed the world with a demo of a much improved version of Google Glass. This time, it was slimmed down and ready for action. He showed us how glass could be used during thrilling activities like skydiving, ice skating, and sightseeing. It was like seeing the world through a whole new lens. That demonstration sparked excitement and curiosity among people everywhere. We could envision a future where Google Glass would seamlessly blend technology into our lives, freeing our hands and offering all the perks of a smartphone right before our eyes. It was a bold and promising vision, inviting us to explore a world where digital and physical realities coexisted in perfect harmony. Google Glass offered a range of functionalities that paralleled those of a smartphone, encompassing tasks such as making phone calls, staying connected through social media platforms, and effortlessly capturing precious moments through photos and videos. What set Glass apart was its unique approach, a hands-free system that seamlessly integrated these features into the wearer's visual field, specifically positioned in the top right corner. In its early stages, Google Glass was exclusively accessible to VIPs, creating an air of exclusivity around the product. However, as the technology progressed and gained momentum, Glass became available for general sale in 2013. This marked a significant milestone, opening up the opportunity for a wider audience to experience the innovation firsthand. To fuel excitement and engagement, Google launched a social media campaign encouraging potential users to share their enthusiasm by tweeting with the hashtag Hashtag if I had glass. This interactive approach invited individuals to imagine the possibilities and demonstrate their eagerness to embrace this new frontier in wearable technology. The recognition and acclaim that followed Google Glass further solidified its presence in the tech industry. Time magazine acknowledged its potential and named it one of their products of the year, further igniting interest and cementing its position as a groundbreaking innovation. This acknowledgement not only validated the efforts put into creating glass, but also generated curiosity among consumers about the future possibilities and impact of this revolutionary device. So what led to the failure of Google Glass? Well, at some point, consumers were hesitant to invest in Google Glass due to its perceived lack of substantial benefits compared to their existing devices. With a price tag of $1,500, potential users weighed the cost against the advantages and found that their smartphones already offered superior performance, better camera capabilities, and more vibrant displays. Google Glass's attractive features such as GPS tracking and video recording came at a considerable cost of battery life lasting a mere three hours before requiring a recharge. This limited battery performance hindered the practicality and convenience of the device, making it impractical for everyday use. As a result, Google Glass struggled to gain traction in the mass market. Even Sergey Brin, one of the project's key figures, openly recognized that it was essentially a prototype with substantial issues that needed to be addressed before it could truly meet the expectations and demands of consumers. Aside from that, Google Glass also had safety issues. Yes, the release of Google Glass brought about some serious safety and security concerns that couldn't be ignored. The fact that the glasses had a camera constantly pointed at others made many people uncomfortable and wary of their privacy. 
It was quite understandable that numerous establishments like bars and restaurants took a firm stance and outright banned the use of glass within their premises. Even among friends and social circles, wearing glass became seen as something creepy and socially unacceptable due to the potential invasion of privacy. The government also raised red flags regarding glass, particularly in terms of road safety. The UK's Department for Transport, recognising the potential distractions that glass could pose to drivers, implemented a ban on its use while driving. This decision was made to ensure that people's attention remained fully focused on the road rather than being diverted by a device that had the potential to cause accidents. These safety and social concerns took a toll on the reputation of Google Glass. People were genuinely worried about being constantly under surveillance and the potential violation of their privacy. With these anxieties in place, Glass struggled to gain widespread acceptance and faced an uphill battle in convincing the public that it was a trustworthy and valuable piece of technology. Another issue was its lack of appeal. The unattractive design of Google Glass played a significant role in its failure to capture the mass market. The clunky appearance of the glasses, coupled with the noticeable camera attachment, simply did not appeal to potential users. The aesthetics of a wearable device are crucial in enticing customers, and unfortunately, Google Glass fell short in this regard. To address this issue and enhance its image, Google made a strategic move by showcasing Google Glass at prestigious events like the New York Fashion Week in 2012 and 2013. The aim was to present the device in a more fashionable light, hoping to change public perception. However, despite these efforts, the overall reception remained lukewarm. In an iconic twist, the early adopters and enthusiasts of Google Glass, those who embraced the technology, were unfortunately labelled glass holes on social media. This derogatory term further contributed to the negative perception of the product. The reputation of Glass began to decline rapidly, and as a result, Google made the difficult decision to discontinue the product in 2015. Advancements Google's invention, Google Glass, has found success in various industries, proving its value beyond its initial setbacks. In 2017, the introduction of the Glass Enterprise Edition specifically targeted businesses aiming to boost employee productivity, and it hit the mark. Companies like Volkswagen, DHL, and Boeing witnessed remarkable improvements in their efficiency thanks to the upgraded version. The new Glass Enterprise Edition came packed with exciting enhancements. It featured a more powerful processor, ensuring faster performance for users. The camera received significant improvements, delivering sharper visuals and a more immersive experience. Plus, the battery life was significantly extended, addressing one of the major concerns from the earlier version. Now, employees could rely on Glass throughout their workday without interruption. Google's understanding of the specific needs of professionals in certain industries played a crucial role in the success of Glass. Engineers, factory workers, and logistics personnel who require real-time information while using both hands found tremendous value in Glass's hands-free capabilities and instant access to relevant data. It seamlessly integrated into their tasks, enhancing productivity and overall performance. In 2019, Google took it a step further by releasing an even more advanced device. This iteration, priced at around $1,000, received a warm reception from industry professionals. Notably, General Electric reported a substantial 46% reduction in production time within their warehouses after implementing the latest edition of Google Glass. These tangible outcomes demonstrated its ability to streamline operations and boost efficiency. While the original Google Glass faced initial challenges and a lukewarm response, its successor's success has paved the way for a promising future. The remarkable advancements in functionality and performance, coupled with the valuable insights gained from industry leaders, suggest that the everyday use of Google Glass may arrive sooner than anticipated. As technology continues to evolve and innovate, we can eagerly anticipate a future where augmented reality glasses seamlessly integrate into our daily routines offering unparalleled convenience and endless possibilities. Thank you so much for joining me on this incredible journey into the world of Google Glass and its rise and fall. If you've enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with the latest technology and innovation, hit that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll be joining a community of curious minds like yours, eager to explore the cutting-edge advancements reshaping our world.